Sometimes in life, things just don't make sense. Whilst on our way to a local market, we got a shocking video message saying that local authorities in Manavgat had sent diggers to the Marine Conservation Centre that we and thousands of you funded. Surely this can't be true. I mean, if thousands of people around the world have donated and supported the centre that's protecting their marine life, that's educating tens of thousands of their school children, why on earth would officials want to undo that work? We've had no choice. We've found a hire car, we're packing, and we're gonna go and find out what is going on. Teachers are the one and only people who save nations. Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. Okay, we're all packed up. The vent very kindly managed to get us a hire car for a couple of days. Right, here is our little hire car. It's a Fiat, just like Trudy. Levent, thank you, my friend. We will see you in a couple yes, of days. We're you. gonna go and save the turtles. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Let's go save some turtles, people. Does anybody need the loo? I've just been to the loo, Marianne. Do you need the loo? I'm all good. Okay, let's go. Okay, so the journey today, four hours, 48 minutes. Conditioners! Right. Let the road trip begin. Okay, in the excitement, Marianne forgot her bag. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Levant called in a panic going, is this Craig Hopper bag your bag? And we're uh, like, yes it is. Service with a smile. <laughs> we're off. Oh, you're coming? Yay. He's changed his mind. Oh, please come. Just to do the are you coming to Ortiger? Oh, to Ortiger. Okay, we've got a hitchhiker. What do you mean? It's one of those days today, the, boot, the boot's just popped open. What's oh going God, on? It's because you pushed the boot button when you put the camera. <laughs> that is well, why is the, the boot pin? button behind the phone? I don't know. Oh my, oh my God. Sorry. We're driving down the road, we just opened the boot. See you later, Levent. Adios. Uh, move. <laughs> See you on the way back. Bye. As we headed south, looking over the beautiful Turkish countryside, I felt nervous. You know, that kind of feeling you get deep in your stomach. What would we find when we got there? Before we left, we did a couple of social media posts, tagging in the Manavgat Council and Mayor, and asking them to reconsider. Hopefully, they'll come to their senses. Spotting the lamb roasting over the hot coals by the side of the road, we couldn't resist stopping for a quick lunch. Right, quick lunch. Although saying that, it's half four in the afternoon, so it's not really lunch. But uh, yeah, we've got another two hours and a half to go. As we continued our journey, I wondered what my nephew Jasper was making of all of this. His first trip outside Europe, and on the second day, he's off on an adventure across the south of Turkey with his crazy aunt and uncle to save turtles. Welcome to downtown Antalya, and we are caught in rush hour. It's 20 to 6 now. Hopefully, we make it there before it gets dark. Okay, we have arrived down at the beach. It is uh, seven o'clock in the evening and uh, we're not really sure what we're gonna find when we get down here. Is the center still there? Are the displays still there? Are the police there or the diggers still there? We have absolutely no idea, but we have about one mile to go and uh, we are there. As we approached the end of the beach, we could see the center. Phew, it's still there. And at first glance, so are the displays. Hmm, yeah, no diggers. That's a good sign. Maybe everyone saw the social media post and messaged the Manavgat council and local mayor to ask them to reconsider. It was definitely a relief to find a familiar face rather than the police. 
<laughs> and there's Eric and Yoka. That's perfect timing. <laughs> Maraba. Hi, Hello. Eric. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine. Wait, you all right? Uh, yes. Finally. Hello. Oh. We made it. Because yes. And Let me just hug your car. The centre is still there. Yes. <laughs> and I thought that you must wait one by one. We protect the centre today. <laughs> So yeah, it looks like we arrived just in the nick of time. There's only one display at the end they've taken down. Yes. Yeah. Saheb burst into tears when she saw us. <laughs> it's okay. They will not take your center. I'm sure it gave her some reassurance knowing that we'd arrived and that we always have her back when she needs us. We're here, we're here, okay. nobody's going to do Let's anything. Go. Okay, so it is looking like we have literally arrived in the nick of time. The diggers did come yesterday. You can still see the tracks from the diggers here. They've taken down the display of the waste material that was here. These are the signs that they've taken down. Um, they took them down from this area. All the messages and everything, I think, has managed to stop it for the moment. So far, so good. Uh, we're hoping tomorrow that we'll meet with the mayor, maybe, of the, uh, the local council. And uh, we're going to protect this centre. With all of your help, this place is not going anywhere. Looking around the centre, we felt sad. In a strange way, the centre was our way of saying thank you to Turkey for looking after us so well during our time there. It must be so much more distressing for Sahar, a woman who gave up her job, her status, and dedicated three years of her life to set up the center, to protect the turtles and educate future generations. I know some of you may be asking which political party is running the council in Manavka. For the record, I don't care. This project has nothing to do with politics. It's about protecting an endangered species who decided to make Manavka their nesting ground. It seems wrong to think that after all this, the future of the center could all come down to the decision of one council official. Jasper, your name is somewhere on here. Right there. It is. Hey. So these guys wanted to support and they have driven with us all the way from Dalian, Eva and Cliff. Thank you so much. Thank you, darling. Hello, thank you. Did you have a good time? Did you have a good drive? Yes. It's a long way. Go far, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're here. We're here. Yes. And yes, yes. more importantly, the centre is still here. Yes. I'm so glad. Oh, How are you doing? Oh. Long drive, long yeah, drive. Yeah, it was. It really was a long oh. drive. But well, together. We got here. We got here. We got here. We got here. We'll do it tomorrow. We'll show Hello. unity. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Good morning. It's another day down here in uh, Sidi. We spent the night at a hotel, and uh, yesterday it all went well. Um, this morning there um, is a meeting between some of the government officials. Um, there's been, it seems like there's been some confusion about the land on the beach and who's managing it. Um, so fingers crossed later today um, we should hear something. But it's a very beautiful uh, place to have your breakfast and wake up this morning. And of course in Turkey there's always a cat. Good morning. And kittens. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit windy today. So we've come back down to the center. Um, we're keen to uh, hear if there's been any updates today. Fingers crossed, everybody's support has uh, managed to change the situation. You did that. You did that. A short while later, a group of officials arrived with the local police. 
From what I understood, there seemed to be some kind of confusion on the land the centre was on, and they were not happy with all of the displays. I had emailed the mayor of Manavka to request an interview, but never received a response. So I took the opportunity to ask the official in front of me to pass the message on that if possible, I would like to meet with him. Okay, so it seems like uh, the authorities have come down this morning and it's not great news. I'm not filming you, I'm, not, I'm filming me. I'm filming me. It seems that there is some confusion over the land like we thought and who's got permissions and who's managing this piece of land etc etc but they're basically saying that all of this side is uh, is not allowed and they're saying that that side is not allowed we're only allowed the one path but we talked about could we rent the land for the educating the children they said it's not possible it seems strange that they won't allow a marine conservation center to rent the land but they allow hotels to rent areas for seating. Maybe they haven't worked out that educated tourists want to protect the environment and Sahir and her volunteers are the ones keeping the beach clean. It could be worse, the centre is okay. They're not taking the steps down, uh, which was what we originally heard. And I hope that they see sense that this is not, <laughs> this is not for us, this is not for Sahir, this is for the turtles. This is for the future of the children in Manavgat. This is for Turkey. This is nothing, not about anything else. So Decafox work will continue as planned. Um, it just means that it's just been slightly uh, reduced. After such a crazy day, we thought it would be good to end the day by all of us that were involved today um, going to get a nice dinner. So we're going to take Jasper to a very delicious grill restaurant, possibly one of the best meals we've had in Turkey here in Manavka. We're just going to pick up Cliff and Eva um, and give them a ride because they live in a lorry and it's harder to park in the middle of town. British lorry converted and uh, it's here in Manavka. <laughs> English lorry on Manavka Beach. Oh, Another you, mad couple. Why did you come here? Uh, I'll else. move my seat forward because it's going to be a little bit cosy. There was five in the car and the little one said, roll over, roll over. <laughs> okay, we're here. Is this the place? Are you hungry, people? Very. Marhaba. Hoş bulduk. Marhaba. You finish America. Yes, we are home. <laughs> yeah. Marhaba. How are you? Hoş bulduk. Hoş bulduk. Hey guys, how are you all doing? Yay! <laughs> we actually filmed this restaurant quite a long time ago uh, with Ben and Cheska, you may remember. Hello, brother. How are you? I'm very good. This is the fire where they cook the kebabs. We had so much fun here last time that I had to take Jasper into the kitchen for that special Turkish experience. Merhabalar. Hoş bulduk. So we're making Adana kebab? Yes, sir. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I have this lovely bread. And then the wood-fired oven in the back here is the best with this long paddle to put it in. Oh, oh, very nice. <laughs> Johnny C's! Yay! <laughs> Before we knew it, he was washing his hands, putting on an apron, and getting a lesson in how to make kebabs. Hey, Jess, I reckon you can get a okay. job here. Having told Jasper so many stories about Turkey, I was so happy that for his first ever kebab, he was able to experience firsthand true Turkish kindness and hospitality. I make for you this one special salad. Çok güzel. Membeşe Çok teşekkürler. So here you go. This is all about dinner being cooked. All these different types of kebabs. <laughs> He'd only been in Turkey for a few days and already his quiet week with his uncle and aunt had been quite mad. I chuckled to myself, imagining him telling his friends back home the stories of what he'd been up to. Oh my God, sweet <laughs> <laughs> He didn't what? expect to do that, did you, today? You said come for dinner, you didn't say come for dinner. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. 
Look at that for a meat platter. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, vegetarian. That means we get more, guys. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, my friend. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. Yak Shamla. That was possibly one of the best places to have a grill here in Turkey. It is absolutely amazing. If you come to Manavka, I would definitely recommend it. What do you reckon, Jess? Amazing. Best food I've eaten <laughs> in a very long time. And you cooked it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I tried. <laughs> I think you did a good job. Yeah. If you have food poisoning tomorrow, it, it, it's not my fault. I'm not liable. It's not very close. <laughs> Okay, good news. Trudy has finally left LA. She's on her way to Japan and uh, it should take about three weeks for her to arrive. If all goes according to plan. Definitely. And uh, we still, at the moment, we don't know where our personal belongings are. They are somewhere on the Pacific. We are back in Dalian and we are attempting to go to the market again because <laughs> it all went a bit wrong last time. So we're off to Otacha Market this morning. It's another beautiful day here in Dalian. The sun is shining. Levent's very kindly offered to drive us. Yes, always. <laughs> Okay, so we're nearly at the market. Good Turkish double parking, parallel parking everywhere. It's busy, an event? Yes, it is. Market day. Normal. Normal. Normal market day. <laughs> okay, so the problem is finding a parking spot. Which means the market is selling great stuff and everyone wants to be here. <laughs> yeah. But it's in Turkey, so I'm sure we can parallel park somewhere. <laughs> Okay, we found parking. So the market here in Notadja is every Friday and they uh, they move the market each day. So Saturday is in Dalian, Monday is in Koyjes, but uh, today it's here in Notadja. Oh, the smells coming from this Oh, market. the bread. The bread. Oh, there it is. There's the shop. Oh, they got these special mushrooms. Local mushrooms. Must be clean. Yeah, ah, güzel. Çok güzel. Çok güzel. <laughs> what is it called? Göbek means. Oh, what does Göbek mean? Here. Stomach. Yeah, no, the you know the whole. Oh, belly button. Yeah, belly button. Ah. that's the <laughs> mean. It doesn't matter where in the world we are. We always try to visit local markets. I love the hustle and bustle and seeing all the products for sale, some of which I've never seen before. Wow, look, you see the market goes all the way along. It's massive. And look at all these chilies, aubergines. Oh, it's absolutely buzzing today. Local produce. What do you reckon, Jess? That's a pretty cool market, isn't it? Being away from tourists, it gives a real sense of local life. Of course, we always have to buy something. The strawberries here is so good. We're going to get some more. 30 TL per punnet. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Good night. And in case you're wondering what those are, they're fresh almonds. I don't know how to eat them though. It's like it's They put it into the water. Yes. Ice. Yes. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. Oh, what well, you got? Some cherry tomatoes. <laughs> it's like the best snack in the world if you like tomatoes mm. <laughs> so most markets in turkey you will always find a nice gozleme and the lady here is making the gozleme beautiful look And then this is what it looks like when it's come out. This is a spinach and cheese one. 
and you just can't beat it. This is the perfect Turkish breakfast here in the market here in Ortaca. And then we have a nice cup of Turkish tea to wash it all down. Sherife. <laughs> you cannot come to Turkey and not try Guzleme. It's the super snack here. Okay, update number two. Trudy has found her way up the uh, west coast of the US and uh, is up right near uh, Washington State. And in fact, thank you to our Patreon members, Mr. and Mrs. P, for going out of your way to go to Port Tacoma to take a photo. It's that time of the day. Jasper's leaving us. It's always sad when we get to spend time with family and then they have to go home, back to their lives. Um, but Levent's been a rock star and he's driven Jasper to the airport. Missing you already? Uh, already. We'll see you on the other side. Woo! Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we just spring a camera on you. I love the fact, oh, you're clearing the orange plantation. Oh, there's our little cat. <laughs> Isn't that just the best sound to wake up to? I think that's why I love <laughs> Dalian. I think that's why I feel that it's like my home because it's still like being in the countryside. Another beautiful morning here in Dalian. And uh, we're just walking along by the river here this morning. And what we thought we'd do today is just show you a few of our favorite places that we've been hanging out whilst we've been here in Dalian. But don't tell anyone. Shh. Starting with a nice morning walk along the river. I'm not, I'm not sure whether you can hear that, but there is definitely a frog chorus going off this morning. It's, uh, it's lovely first thing in the morning before uh, it gets too busy. It's actually just at the beginning of the season now. So uh, it's still pretty quiet. Um, I think another few weeks and uh, all of these wonderful boats parked up here are gonna be off out on their day trips with loads of tourists. All along the uh, waterfront, there's different boats going on different trips. You can go to Koijes Market, you can go for a tour around the lake or a, a trip down to Isuzu Beach um, or just across to go and see the ruins and the, uh, the ancient city on the other side of the river. It's hard to imagine all these boats actually in the height of season being used because at the moment they're all doubly parked waiting for the, all the tourists to arrive and uh, we of course have never seen that because we've always been here during the pandemic and uh, off season and this is a little breakfast early morning coffee spot right by the tombs here Back in the 4th century, the Lycians believed that winged spirits would carry the souls of the dead to the afterlife. And so their most important members of society were buried high up on the cliff in elaborate hand-carved tombs. And they still look equally impressive today. So it's the perfect spot for a morning coffee. Perfect start to the day. Gozlemi time! Feed me! <laughs> Feed me! <laughs> it's hot! It's hot! It's hot! Yeah. It's really hot! Oh, a 
Of course, our favorite place in Dalian is with Levent and the Osmanli Hani Apartments. Located far enough out of town for it to be quiet, and yet only a short walk into town when you want to venture in, makes it the perfect place to stay. It really does feel like our home away from home. Although at home, I don't have a swimming pool that looks like that. So after a wonderful morning, hanging out at the hotel and uh, just enjoying the weather here, it's lunchtime. So uh, we're gonna take you to one of our favorite little restaurants here, tra very traditional. And uh, Maria and Lilas should be joining us. <laughs> we ate here most lunch times because every day they make a daily selection of homemade traditional Turkish dishes. But they also do fresh kebabs cooked to order over a charcoal fire. But today we fancied lamajan and pide. Lamajan has a super thin crust covered in mincemeat with peppers, tomato, fresh herbs and earthy spices. It's one of our favorite foods. Pide is the other. It's like a super long Turkish pizza with marinated meat covered in cheese. Both are lovingly cooked to perfection in a huge wood-fired oven. You really can't get better than this. So good. Thank you. So there you go, this is it. Lamajan, which is a, look at how beautiful that is. Just come out the oven. Pide with melted cheese. Some uh, aubergine salad. Are we happy guys? What do you reckon? Oh, there's more coming. Yay! Of course, no one's happy. Thank you. And if you want an easy way of getting around town, you can rent a scooter, which is what we did from Hey Dahlia. Was that fun? That was great fun. Yay! Yay! Deshikula! <laughs> Tread the globe on Hey Dalian. Chokuzel! <laughs> Meet Metin, this is our friend, and if you need to get hold of a moped or a scooter, he's amazing. Thank you! In the evening, we headed to our favorite bar in town, Tapa. Tapa is owned by Sarah and Alijan a lovely couple who we first met in lockdown when they took it upon themselves to deliver us the most amazing homemade chocolate brownies. Sarah is one mean baker, a gesture we won't forget. Over the past year, they'd given the place a complete refurb. Formerly called the Riverside Terrace, we could not believe the transformation into a modern, comfortable place to hang out at the end of the day with wonderful views over the river. It was the perfect location to have meetups whilst we were in Dalian, and a huge thanks to everybody who came to say hi. Over the past couple of years, every night, and I mean every night, we would see the Rose Man. He worked so hard. We bought a rose from him every single night we were there. If you visit Dalian, pop in, say hi to Sarah and Alijan, and of course, if you see the Rose Man, Say hi from us. Quick update on Trudy. She has just gone past Vancouver Island, giving Aunt Judy a little bit of a wave. And of course, there's still no news on our belongings. No, there isn't, but we're not chasing it because if they suddenly say that they've arrived and we haven't, we might get charged some high port fee. So we'll chase it nearer the time. It's our last full morning here in Dalian. <laughs> so uh, we're going out for a bit of Turkish breakfast with Levent. Where are we going? Chandu Terrace, uh, the other side of the river. Oh, nice. I think Dalian said it's our last day. Although your windscreen wipers sound like a spaceship, Levent. <laughs> it used to be worse. It used to be <laughs> This way you get the ferry over to the other side of the river. It's a squeeze. 
doing a wheelie with all the weight at the back to be fair. We literally are, that's hilarious. I've undone my seatbelt just Have in you? case. <laughs> Safety first. Safety first. Okay, we made it. We're off. <laughs> wow, the view's really opened up. <clears throat> that is beautiful. So, Izuzu Beach is down there. We're on the other side. Yeah. We haven't come this far on this side before, but it's very beautiful. We'll look, you, you, you look, look at the, the road, road, we'll look at the view. <laughs> 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 the restaurant here, Chende Terrace. That is an amazing view. Oh, this is epic. This is amazing. This is an epic view. Mereba. 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 Wow, look at this. Wow. That look at this view. is fantastic. Wow. Oh yeah, definitely put this on the radar if you come to uh, the Dalian. Look at this. Phenomenal. And I love all the recycled pots with the flowers. How beautiful is that? What a cool kitchen. I love the traditional Turkish kitchens. It's like stepping back in time with the old wood fired ovens and stoves. Watching the ladies skillfully roll out the gozleme was really hypnotic. I lost track of time as I stood there just staring for what seemed like ages. I've seen so many gozlemes made, but it's just such a great thing to watch and they always make it look so easy when you know it's not. Oh, I love this. Look, freshly squeezed juice. Cheers. Oh my goodness, Levent, this is amazing. Did you like it? Oh. It looks gorgeous. We got some bread, some cheese and spinach. Yeah. We got some different olives. We got Turkish donuts yeah. called Pishi. Pishi, isn't it? Pishi. 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 That's it. And then we got some uh, cucumbers, tomatoes, some different butters and Nutella mm. and bits, gozleme, some cheese, some different jams. Great company yeah. and a great view. <laughs> I am a happy man. But one question How have we been to Dalian so many times and never been here before? Because it was close. Because oh, close. Yes. yes. So it's open now, woohoo! So if you all come here, you shouldn't come here because it will be too busy. <laughs> <laughs> Menimum. Menimum. Oh, I love that. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Chips. 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 Wow. Turkish katmer. Katmer, okay. It's like a fried bread. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. And eggs. And eggs. eggs. Oh, thank you. Service. Chuck de Wow. I don't think we're going to be eating anything else for the rest of the day. <laughs> That's the wonderful thing about a Turkish breakfast. One meal does all. Tucking into our breakfast, I looked out at the horizon. I couldn't have wished for a more perfect location to have our last meal with Levent before we head off. Well, that was an absolutely fabulous breakfast with one of the best views we've ever had whilst eating breakfast. And the owners, I asked them what this building is here and apparently they have a little, uh, like a little bed and breakfast situation. So if you're up this way and you want to stay and be able to wake up with this view here, look at that then they can do that for you too. I feel like I should be walking back after eating that breakfast, but wow. it was absolutely delicious and the perfect start to the day, although it probably is lunchtime now, not that we ever need to eat again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but if you do want to come here and you're in Dalian, you don't have transport, 
is actually a relative of our friends Metin from Hey Dalian um, that runs this restaurant. So if you pop into Hey Dalian, uh, they will call ahead for you and they will actually pick you up from the little ferry that goes across from uh, Dalian town and drive you up here and back. Uh, so you can come and have a nice breakfast. What a very special place. And the price was? Uh, it was 200 TL per person, which is under 10 pounds. So apparently we're just going to pop down. There's a lake at the bottom here um, with a little viewing platform. So we just thought we'd go and have a look as we're on this side of the river. Okay, we've arrived at this lake. Oh, it's very nice. Gaming. And this is the hill we climbed to the vent, isn't it? Yes. Ah, oh, it's very beautiful. The rocks are carved out here. There's a tomb from the old uh, Lycian times there, look. So you can actually get a boat here uh, from Dalian. They'll bring you down here on a boat. Got to watch where I'm walking. Mind the whole event. The jetty's a bit dodgy. <laughs> no more tripped ankles. Apparently there is a viewing platform up there and I think we need to go up these steps here. Okay, up we go. Oh, the steps are a bit wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a bit creaky. The steps are moving. What can you see? Oh, there's a goat. It's a sheep. A sheep. And over here, wow. That is an amazing view, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Trudy has now gone out into the Pacific. We've lost her on the marine tracking app, which means she's out of range. Yes, and this morning I received an email from the Japanese shipping agent to say that he wasn't able to complete the paperwork for Trudy because he hadn't received payment clearance. Yeah, the problem was we've been trying to pay the US shipping agent, but they said that we can't actually pay until uh, Trudy is well on her way to Japan. Um, so that might delay our pickup in Japan, but we are chasing the agent in the US and hopefully, fingers crossed, they will send us an invoice soon. It's our last night in Dalian before we head to Istanbul. And we're having a little bit of a celebration with our friends. We're celebrating and sad. It's like a happy yes, sad thing. Odd. These guys. How do we feel? These that guys got. Nice. These guys got engaged. Yeah, so we that's have. The good news. We have a, a nice Yay. glass of wine to celebrate. celebrate. Cheers, cheers! 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 Levent, thank you so much for oh, looking you're after you're us. You're welcome. Uh, it's, you know, always welcome. Can I just say it's a nice T-shirt. It is, you know, one of my friends gave me again. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's sad to be leaving Dalian, but we are on the next leg of the adventure coming up very soon. A oh, cat came to say oh, goodbye to goodbye. me. It's on my lap. With the butt up. With this, why do I always get the butt uh -oh. end? Oh my goodness, uh -oh. put it down. It's, it's doing yoga, isn't that the downward dog? This is rated X. <laughs>